So this video is on average and constant velocity and we're going to start with these three definitions. You should already have them, but just as a review. Average velocity is a combination of all the fast and slow motion. Constant velocity means there's no change in speed or direction. A triangle means change. Instantaneous velocity, well that just means how fast are you going right now. Okay, and then another thing is, what does well, velocity itself really tell you about an object? And this is called an interval um, diagram. And this shows the objects of three motion and each dash represents a second. So it's how far did these things travel? Which one's going the fastest? Well, A is going the fastest because every second it's covering more distance. B is going the second fastest, C is going the slowest. So all velocity tells us is how much distance are you covering in a certain amount of time. Or to be more correct, what's the displacement during a certain amount of time. Uh, copy these down if you don't have them, if you're doing these notes for the first time, but these are your formulas. Here's what I'll give you on the test. This is a more simplified version. And these are the units that we'll use in this class. So, for example, we're not going to use miles per minute. So if you get um, 60 miles in 20 minutes equals 3, nope. We don't solve things in miles per minute. It would need to be in miles per hour. I'm going to go fast because you can pause the video. The first test question I'm going to have you ask is, what's the difference between average velocity and constant velocity? Come up with an example to describe the difference. So you can write that down. That will be your test question word for word. Okay. Now here's a practice problem. So, and I'm gonna, here's how we go about solving it. I'll do one, and then you guys can do the next ones. So, first thing, what do we need? Well, the question's asking, put a box around it. And this is a process I want you to get in the habit of doing. How long? That means time, not distance. Time is what we need. How long is class today? How long does it take to drive to Oakland Coliseum from Napa? 48.4 miles. Miles is a unit of distance. With an average velocity of 45 miles per hour, or 45 miles per hour. Anytime you see the division symbol, you know it's a velocity unit. 45. Okay, now the setup. We only have one formula. Distance equals velocity times time. Now plug in the numbers. 48.4 equals 45 times time. Now we need to solve for time. So I need to move this 45. This is times 45, so the opposite is divided by 45. And the answer is 1 point, I don't know, 0, 03-ish, maybe. What's the units? This is important. We're solving for time. Could it seconds, minutes, or hours? Well, we know over here that it's miles per hour, so this means this should be in hours. Now you try some. So pause the video, try to solve this doing your complete setup. What do you need? What are you given? What formula? Okay, here's the answer, so pause it if you're not ready. See, how long will it take? Same type of problem, need, time. Given, 15 meters. Distance equals 15. Speed of 20 meters per second will go with velocity is 20. Formula, distance equals V times T. 15 equals 20 times T. And now we need to solve for T, so move this. 0 0.75. This is meters per second. So that means the time unit is seconds. I need a box around your answers. 
A car maintains. Last one. Do this first. Do your setup. What do you need? What are you given? What's your formula? Car maintains a constant speed of 30 miles per hour along a straight level highway. After traveling 10 minutes, the car will have covered a distance of... So we need this. 30 miles per hour. Time equals 10 minutes. Okay, solve. Here's your answer. Distance equals velocity times time. Distance equals 30. This is in minutes. It needs to be in hours. Minutes divided by 60 equal blank hours. You need to know this. I will not tell you this on a test. So 10 divided by 60 equals 0 0.16. Let me check. 0 0.167. So now 30 times 0 0.167 equals, get our calculator up here, 10 divided by 60, now times 30, 5 what? So the answer is 5. What are the units? Remember, we're trying to find distance. And we've got 30 miles per hour. So the unit is 5 miles. Oops. All right, so that's it for this video. Uh, there's more practice on the velocity page, the velocity and then average velocity page.